All right. So this is basically going to be just some tips that uh, I know from being a former art student, basically. And it's going to be mainly about uh, how to create uh, kind of a Let me show this uh, there how to create kind of um realistic uh, image okay so let's take this or maybe this or you can have multiple good so There we go. Let's try to make a couple of things. So, something quite simple, such as a ladybug. And let's do this. So, basically, what you want to do is first just consider the shape. So, this is kind of like an oval shape and the main color is going to be the red so in my opinion one of the best tools to do this with here in this program is uh, the spray can so what you want to do is you take so one of the tips I'm going to show is uh, about the coloring so instead of making like a wall line art and trying to get uh, the shape perfect and then filling it in i advise to get uh, the middle color more or less and then trying to get the overall shape so let's not go super big in this case since i'm going to keep it simple so it's more or less like this for the body then the black part for the head is going to go a little bit over it and let's go for a middle shape middle shade actually uh, let's say you can actually go with the black here since most of it is just going to be black so More or less like this, since it protrudes a little. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of red there. So, actually, just gonna get the color from here. It's okay if you go a little bit of out of the bounds, since here you can just do this. And do this. So now you got the overall shape. In this case, the dots are quite big, so you can actually go ahead and do this. Let me see. Mm -hmm. And then this. Actually, more like. See with the spray pan is actually is also pretty easy to like cover up if you mess up at this stage so don't be careful don't have to be careful to make it super accurate. You just need basically the overall feel of it and shape of it. So this can go a little bit there. Like this. And this should go over here. And this over here. And 
So as you can see, this looks very rough for now. We are going to add most of the details. So the shape is good. I would not need to fix it. The face more or less is good. We can add the, uh, I think, uh, the white if we want, which is going to be like this. There we go. And once kind of like this. So you can see it's already getting a little bit more of the fill of it. So I'm going to do with teleportation because the other time uh, type of locomotion makes me quite sick. So Let's go like this. I'm just going to use the color pick from that can allow you to get the color directly from the reference, which is with A, it should be. But uh, you can also do it differently. You can also just like pick the color that you already used here. If you want to do some effects, you can mix the colors in there. I'm just making this to because it's a bit quicker. But if you prefer to have fun and copy and make your own mixtures, that's also fun. Okay, so the reason why I made this shape is that you want to get kind of the middle coating and then going with the other shades to add more detail rather than go right away with the very dark one or a very light one. I mean, here it's a lot more forgiving than real painting when it comes to painting over it. But if you have real paint and you try to paint over uh, like a very dark, like if I try to paint over black with a light paint, the black is still going to show underneath unless you make a lot of um, uh, layers. So here it's a little bit more forgiving, so you could get away with it, but I'm going to follow the same principle basically and go gradual. So you have a little bit like this, and then you have a spot of light, and then it's this. It's okay if you paint over these, as I put them almost more to give myself the idea of where they were supposed to be than anything else. So they are kind of like a reference. And yeah, at this point, I like to use this pens, uh, this brush, as it can go quite, uh, can do quite fine detail. But it can also go larger. But if you are making a, a bigger uh, painting, the bigger brushes are going to be very useful since you can't always go with such a small line. Okay, so here it also needs a bit of a darker tone. So it's something like this. Basically. Yeah, like so, and a little bit here, 
here, I think. Would work good to have more of a shape like this. Then it goes up and like this. All right. So then here too, you can do this. And yeah. Do a little bit of the light. It's a bit hard to do something very fine in here. So I guess that's why they went with a very large canvas. But you can still manage pretty much. So I'm going to go a bit rough for now. Because I'm going to refine it in a bit. So yeah, you have those. You have this. It's going to be more like this. And like this. And yeah, here too, I think. More of a yellowish tinge. Yeah. And yeah, the spot in there is actually a little closer to here. So either I make the slide bigger or remove the spot. Or both. I don't mind if it's not 100% accurate. So I might just keep it there, but if you want accu extreme accuracy, you can easily just basically move it around. I mean, it's not a perfect uh, round shape in there either, as you can see. So we can do like this and just make it thicker. See, it even looks a bit like this in the picture. So yeah, you got this, you got that. Here too, it's a bit more of a distorted shape. So yeah. Here the black. I'm going to use it to cover up a bit more and here too. Very fine. There. Mm -hmm. And here too. Just this. Mm. I'm going to cover it a bit. It's really a very fine line. I think here I will try to go with the blending one, even if it's not 100% perfect in the blending, honestly. Mm. So, light here, I think also I will try to change a bit, but it's a bit too dull. There, better. And a little bit more here. You can do something a little bit more intermediate here. So like this. See, the picking tool doesn't always work perfect, sometimes it's actually... Let me see. I'm going to try to do something over here, so... 
So with this you can make it very transparent and let's see. Yeah, I think this maybe works better. Make this sort of effect. So yeah, I'm gonna go like this, then a little bit like here. The problem with the blending ones is that they don't work with transparent colors. So that's something they're going to fix in the updates, but for now you're almost better off using this and very transparent colors there we go see it's not it's a bit rather slow process of getting all the details and just going little by little to add more and basically the more you go to add details and the more realistic it will get but it takes a little bit of time it's not going to be immediately perfect and go a little bit here start doing a bit of this shine mm -hmm. here too can do that. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do the same with the red. So there we go. And there we go. Okay. So you already have this very transparent one. Mm -hmm. so. I'm gonna add some of this, some of this, and then some of this to keep it transparent. And then you come back. So, I'm getting close to the edge, so I'm going to do this. All right, let me see. I can just delete this later, so it doesn't matter. If I smudge it now, yeah, I'm going to be like this and that. So, that effect. It's in there. I'm not going to go super mega detailed and make all of the fine shadows. This is just kind of to get a rope idea of what can be a good tactic to get sort of a realistic effect of a drawing rather than as I said doing the whole liner thing from scratch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so I think here I want to also use the red but I'm going to go like this just a little touch of black to stabilize it and then the thinner one D 
This boy really helps out when you're doing kind of a realistic effect for the shading and all that. So, like this. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that wool pinkish shade that we want. So, yeah, I'm just going to make some middle tones, some highlights, not going to go super perfect with this, because if not, it would take me hours and would be a very long video. So, this is just to get an idea. So I'm going to cut it short. So yeah. I think <laughs> more th this needs more of, of the actual red and more of the thing. So just going to go over here. More red. More thinner. Just to go over here and smoothen out this. Okay. All right. Mm. Be a little bit here. See how it blends, even if you don't use the blending one. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think here you need a little bit of that. Maybe here too. And attach here and then there I'm going to do the big highlight so I'm going to just use this white There is some of that over here too, so we can add some of that, and then this. There's actually an interesting light effect here with the like the pincers and stuff, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Yeah, that's interesting. Basically, kept the opacity of. So apparently, you can just keep the opacity of the color you mix, even if you pick color from here so you could get that green for example but with that opacity which is interesting but for now we want pretty maybe a little bit less opacity wouldn't be bad so we can do this and then go here And kind of add this. Yep. 
this. We got this. We got this. A little bit of this. And there's one here, more or less. It works kind of like this. There's a, a segment here. It really helps here to if you know how a bag's uh, legs work because you can kind of guess even if it's not very clear from the picture because bugs have very like segmented legs so here it's kind of hard to see but yeah so basically it's like this and this and then at the end it kind of has this shape sort of I quite like ladybugs, so I already have an idea of how they work body-wise, so that helps. So yeah, I did not bother to make the leaf and everything because I just kind of wanted to get an idea of the ladybug in question. So there you have it, a fairly realistic ladybug. So it's not 100% perfect, but it's mostly to give an idea of how to get a fairly realistic result. And if that spot bothers you, you can easily just go here and there you go. It does keep a little bit of that wet effect. And if you really hate that, you can basically do this and kind of blend it out and it will get, actually thinned out, sort of. Oop, it's going a little crazy. So yeah, but it's really not big of a deal in my opinion. So yeah, this is a fairly realistic ladybug. I'm going to save a screenshot for the group. So yeah. <laughs>